Okay, we're back. Oh god, no. Okay, you guys, we're back. This is um the game. It's been a couple days. Does this machine really just rotate? Can we look at it in more detail? Let's take a look at the machine. This this part of the platform. It shows the number of each coffin. So what are these round lamps behind beneath the numbers? Oh my god. Hey, whoa, don't go casually pressing that. Will you tell me about it? Of course! See, these lamps are a hint function. <laughs> hint? Yup, this is a game where you and Midori take turns selecting coffins, but before each selection, you get one hint. Once before each selection, can my pony use a... Yes, ma'am, and I'm sure he will. And what exactly are these hints? Too bad! Explanation ends here. Just see what happens and think about it. What? You're good at puzzles, ain't ya? Erg. If we can only use it once, I can't choose aimlessly. I want to narrow things down to an extent first. Where's my cagey? I think we need to discuss it after all. Alright, what? Let's observe. So he says, but they all look pretty much the same. The only one who can identify is Anza's coffin. That means there's only a one in eight chance we hit Midori. Don't forget we could hit Gein too. Meow! I told you not to shove your ass into a coffin and you just ran yourself in there. That's a problem, woof. I can't die like this, woof. Oh, that's two woofs. Right, but what difference in appearance is there? There's gotta be something, right? Like a way to see things the eye can't see. Let me think about it. Seriously? Well, thought of anything? Things the eye can't see. Trust in luck. I'm not gonna... Because Yeen is around, so... Item. Sounds like you got something in mind. Show me this item. Present. Magical lantern. Attack! <laughs> The lantern, the light of this lantern may reveal things you can't normally see. So, I've decided to start wearing all black. Speaking of, um, I don't know, color. Um, comment below on what color I should dye my hair. Maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll show pictures, maybe I won't. Depends on how bad the suggestions are, right? Okay, bye! <laughs> but I thought it was out of battery. We'll use the one I picked up. We got a lantern. Thinking it's the same as your lantern, Sarah. Thank you very much. Let's try this. Tackle attack. Alcohol. I see. The coffins are glowing! Wow, well, what's going on outside? We're not sure of the details either, but there's something special to these coffins. We might just be able to tell them apart. Romaro's alive in this. I'm not replaying any of that. Mystery of the glowing coffins. <sighs> the coffins must be made with a special material that glows in the lantern's light. Hey, hey, what's it look like? How many glowing coffins are there? Tell me! <laughs> we saw the coffins glowing like this when we were off on our own, too. Special material. Oh, shit. I forgot to extract. Some ores like ruby and diamond glow in ultraviolet light. Maybe the coffins are made of diamond too. Okay, thanks. That's useless. How many are there? <sighs> Just so you guys know, I already know. It's five. Really? Hmm, I see. So? If there are five glowing coffins, like, then what? This has to be a lead. Let me think about it. We saw the coffins glowing. All seven glowed. This is an important statement. Does it say five? Yeah. Tackle attack. All seven glowed? Yeah. Then why are only five glowing now? By the way, there exists no other coffins than these. So the seven glowing coffins were reduced to five glowing coffins because... There are coffins that lost their glow. Alright, why don't we think about why that is. 
No, oh, the coffin's lost glow. Uh, this music is so good. You guys hear the piano, right? It's beautiful. Uh, so first of all, Anz is number two with the, the glowing. I lost my glow? <laughs> Don't go ahead and point with statements. Look at this. Ah, I retract it. Look at it, she retracts it. Oh, so cute. Maple exploded on top of Anzu's coffin, is that why? But there should be another coffin that's lost its glow too, right? Is there any other possible cause? Even little things matter here. Do any of you remember anything unusual that happened to the coffins? All I can think of is how their peculiar smell bothers me. Oh, that's right, Hinako splashed liquid at me and got my coffin all sticky. Maybe the coffins actually ran out of power to glow. Surely, they ran out of battery. It's gotta be the explosion's fault, yeah? The heat of the blast, say. Guess who? It's the two that match. The impact of the explosion or the heat. There's a lot that could have done it, ain't there? And then... Liquid! See, Hinako was having me hold her cocoa. And I said, it's hot, carry it yourself. Then she crumpled it up and splashed it all over my coffin. I had no choice but to wipe it off myself. But that ain't important, is it? It's super duper important. Mr. Hottie versus this guy. Hold on a sec. I want to hear about what you said. What, me? Yeah, I think it was Coco, but maybe it was actually a cafe mocha. Whichever it is, that ain't the point. I love Kuramata so much. It's so sad that he died because... You know what? I've been thinking about this. And I've been like, you know, shipping Sarah and Keiji together. Maybe that's inappropriate. You know what? Fuck everybody that says that. I'm 26 years old. I can have whoever I want, you know? I'm thirsting after Keiji and... She's the vessel that I'm playing the game through. So if she can get a happy ending with KG or Kuramana, that's just how it's going to be. Rant. <laughs> Ramaru said the cocoa didn't matter. But both the explosion and the hot cocoa shared the fact that of, of being super hot. Hey, hey, is that really relevant? Yes! Uh, if the heat had an effect, that means something mouth had. Paint. Maybe there's something like paint on the surface of the coffins that glows from the lantern. That would connect to something else, the consent form. <sighs> that black paint! Woo! It glowed similarly when I used the lantern. And a spray of steam got rid of it. Hot steam. Whoa! So it was using the same paint. I just realized, Red Mario's alive! Yay! It's not unlikely. If the paint comes off at a high temperature, then I understand why Ramaro's coffin would have lost its glow. <sighs> and it's possible a certain other coffin lost its glow as well. Another coffin stopped glowing. That would be... Husband. The coffin KG was in. That coffin used a cremation system meant to grill KG alive. Sure did. Just touching the lid was enough to burn you. So Mr. Policeman's co- <sighs> Sorry. So Mr. Policeman's coffin glossed his lungs too, meow. I did burn my pinky. It's really gross. I was holding a, um, a flat iron. If you guys want pictures, I can show you in a video how gross it is. I, I don't know. I don't know what I expected, like, burns to look like, but this isn't it. <sighs> I bet the melted paint got under the lid, which is why it got stuck in one open meow. But that's strange. If we go with that, there's Anzu, Renmaru, KG, three coffins stop glowing. Ah, oh, the numbers don't match up. Um, well, and also, don't you wonder who painted them and when? No, actually. I don't wonder. Understood. Let's discuss it. Whatever. Meh. Progress. Who painted the coffins? Rant. 
First up, when I split off from Sarah, all seven coffins in the cemetery were glowing. Then someone painted the coffin sometime before we separated from Kitaro. Kinda. I imagine it had to have been Midori. Surely culprit wouldn't be one of us. I know. Wouldn't it get on their hands or clothes when they applied it? The paint stuff. I don't remember seeing anyone acting questionably in the cemetery. Could there not be a culprit now? Hey, do you think there's a difference between Gein and Midori's coffins and the rest? Got it! The culprit is Mabel! Hold up. We sure old-timer Kitaro is telling the truth? There must be some meaning to them being painted in the first place. Okay. Holy shit. I don't remember if hers was useful or not. Yeah. I imagine it would take some time to paint all the coffins. Okay. For the record, there's floor... Four unblowing coffins now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. You couldn't tell if you light them up, but it's two, four, five, and seven. Is that true? I'm just trying to see if there's only, yeah, there's nine coffins total. That's weird. I mean, so long as they aren't lit by the lantern, their color isn't any different. What? The culprit doesn't exist! In other words, a ghost meow! The trick of a person that in that coffin played a trick wolf. We're gonna smile. <laughs> I was joking, meow! Stop treating me like a troublesome kid wolf! <gasps> Look at his face! <gasps> Keen, I laughed! That's what laughing is. I don't want you to hate me. I mean, it's a brand new coffin, so of course there wouldn't be a ghost meow. Brand new. Huh? Big says Sarah, you don't remember, Wolf? Seaweed Head said, ah, I can't wait. It's my first time using this fancy new coffin meow. Come to think of it. I love you, game. <laughs> Seriously, where do you have to order from to make something like this meow? Oh my god, I just want to point out that I've started, um, drawing. Like, digital drawings. I can only hope to create someone as cute as Gein one day. <sighs> the color isn't any different unless they're lit by a lantern. No. Close the shutter closed, but so no one can enter the cemetery. Oh yeah, sorry. Delete your shit again. Difference between theirs. Maybe they were stored differently from the coffins in the cemetery. Yes, probably. Kitaro, is he telling the truth? If this makes a misjudgment, we'll be in some real shit. Only Midori would get these real ideas. You're boring. Uh, when they got on their hands or paint. Check if there's paint on anyone's clothes. Nope, don't see anything. Seriously, not even me, Dory. I can't see and <laughs> Yeah, I can't see someone inside a coffin. All right, damn it. Hang on. Okay, okay. Just give me a second. No one's acting questionably. All seven were glowing. No. Wait. This one and this one, maybe? Attack? No, I'm sorry, Gain. I love you so much. Must be mean to be them being painted. I have to piss so much. You're just gonna have to wait for a second. I am back. I honestly don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, I hit everybody. I know that much. All seven were glowing. Attack, right? Damn it! I'm trying as hard as I can. And they're just like, what do you mean? I'm trying as hard as I can, you guys. Um. Items? I, I honestly. Okay, I don't think so. I don't think items right now. They usually give you a hint. 
fancy new coffin. I don't know. Oh, maybe these ones? I am doing the best that I can, you bitches. All right, we're gonna save. <laughs> we're gonna save on 32. <laughs> Because I'm scared I can't do this. I'm not confident in myself. There is a meaning to them being painted. It's either this. Okay. Or, I think, the difference. Did I do my versus Kutaro? I am, I swear to God, I'm trying everything that I can. If this is right, I'm just gonna go back. So it's not right. Do I suck or what? Like, someone painted them before Kutara, but we wouldn't miss something so as when no one's watching. Maybe before we met Midori. Are you fucking kidding me? I just realized I didn't extract from her. I'm so mad right now. I swear to God, I extracted from everybody. I just, like, didn't click on Reco. Gein, is that true? Of course, meow. But it makes sense we didn't see anybody suspicious. A new coffin would have been painted to begin with. Hang on. Okay. So it was cut in paint back when it was made. Like the chocolate on chocolate-covered almonds. Honestly, then even the coffins outside the cemetery. Yeah, Meister said it too. Gina and Midori's coffins were both new. They don't glow, right? Fix the Sarah, calm down, meow. New coffins glow. Oh. Oh, oops. I fucked up. <laughs> both of them glow. Exactly, meow. Then the numbers would add up. It's not two out of seven no longer glow. It's four out of nine. Anzu's, Renmaru's, and Keiji's, and one more coffin stopped glowing. Okay, okay. There's just one more we can't identify. But I suspect the last one would be among the cemetery coffins. Yes. It would be odd if it wasn't. This is some amazing information, isn't it? Because it means that Midori is in one of the glowing coffins. Oh, then if we pick a glowing coffin... Y'all are stupid. Wait up. Same goes for Gein, too. Oh, yeah, but that's no good. Unless we got a way to... Unless we got a way to distinguish Gein and Midori, it's still a game of chance. One in five. Uh, one in five odds that we hit Midori and one in five that we hit Gein. If we just miss, that's one thing. But if we hit Gein, Gein dies. Sarah, don't you think it's time we try that hint function? We've narrowed it. We've narrowed it down to five. If we use the hint, we might narrow it down more. You're right. I'll explain how to use it. Put the coffin you want to use a hint on right in front, and then touch the platform. Okay, got it. Choose one of the glowing coffins. Yes, they're really, they're really telling you how to do this. <laughs> said to do at all okay I said to do what the hell I was trying to do one am I crazy it's going like like one is over here I'm oh the, you have to pick the one in front I'm so <laughs> okay okay why does it just skip around? Because I wanted to hit one. They just don't want me to do that. Fine. Well, I, I guess I'll do eight because I'm trying to do one and it won't let me. It lit up red. Oh. Wait. That's it? What's that tell us? Calm down, Kitaro. That's what we're going to think about. Guess you're right. Listen, we can't use another hint. 
If we don't hit Midori, it'll come around to his turn. We have to prevent that. Gene's life is on the line. That's right, Beach. It's okay. The single lamp gives us information. The... The color. It's color? Think back to our search in this floor. We saw numerous devices in relation to color. That's true. Then we'll have to discuss what we can determine from color, meow. Right. If we all join forces, I'm sure we can solve this mystery. Let's uncover the secret of the color. The secret of the color. Red is red blood. Three buttons on Mabel's black. Message involving the colors. Gender, no. Fingerprint scan, no. No. It's this, it's Kana. And I think it was, I'm sorry, I can't remember. I'm sure I'd remember if I saw it again. Okay, Um. it was, yes, this note. Wait, wait, wait. Let me make sh let me make sure. Cause I don't have that much. Yeah, I'm pretty confident this is. Is this what you saw, Kana? What's that? We found this note while exploring, which matches the something that was displayed on the common control system. Ah, that's right! I remember now. The colors are explained there too. Blue human, red doll. Oh, it says it was on the coffin control screen. The colors will give information about the contents of the coffins, wouldn't they? So the car red color is doll. That means one of the dummies is in there. Seriously, I'm starting to see some hope. Because everyone but Gein is going to be red. We pick red coffins. We won't hit Gein, will we? Is that really it? Sarah, remember the coffin control screen again. Specifically the message at the top right. Dialogue. Blue one, six, red six, yellow zero. Ain't this a record from when the contents of the coffins were checked? Meow, we didn't do anything like that, meow. Does it automatically make a record, maybe? So when is the record from? It had to be from before the game, right? <laughs> It was earlier. Earlier than, oh, before the, fine. I'm guessing that note was part of the print of this log since it says game start, blah. Place at the very beginning before Midori and the dummies come out. But the wait, that means the seven. Had one human mixed in, yeah. Human among the dummies. There's what? Who's that sneaky bastard? I know, but let's try and find out. I can't believe something like that. You guys should know too, it's kind of obvious. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, you guys would be able to figure it out if you were paying attention. You think we can calm down about this? Because that means there's a person who's been lying and pretending to be one of the dummies. Hell, why would they even do something like that? What should I do? I don't know what this fact means, but I won't be able to fully trust the dummies at this rate. In that case, understood. Let's first make it clear who the human is. I think you guys know. I think if you guys watch the whole video, like all of the videos, I think you know. Between the seven, the dummies and Midori, there's one human missing. I got no damn clue. Is it Rantaro or what? Rinmaru. <laughs> Rantaro's from, um, Thing and Rampa, right? Oh, hey, I replaced my hand. Remember? No way I'm human. Being able to take your hand off doesn't necessarily mean you're a doll. But getting a hole that big in your stomach, Kermana has gotta be a doll, right? Hey, hey! Do you think there's some cases where someone doesn't even realize they're human? We all saw our deaths in the victim videos. It's hard to remember. imagine a human mixing in. You saw them too, right? Everyone pictured in those videos definitely died. Unfortunate as that is. Sorry, I'm trying to... Stupid, stupid. I'm trying to remember who had ideas. Because, you know, you seem pretty human, right? Can't think of any reasons besides that. Good, good job. Midori's hand came off too, you know? But that could have been a prop to make it look like he was a doll. 
crap. Hmm. So are we thinking Midori is a human Hinako? I can't, I can't say that for sure yet, but just remember this. Midori is with the organization and can freely use everything in this facility. There's no such thing as impossible. I sprayed steam, I've got zero human qualities. Oh, I see. You can believe me, Sarah. It means upgrade parts. A oh, man. Fine. If he were human, that'd be the way too big of a tummy ache. He'd die. I love you, my. I'm I'm frustrated because I know the answer but I don't know where to go you know what I mean okay I need to not click on them or him he can freely use anything within this facility oh okay I think I figured it out yes Hinako I'm not so sure about that about what? <laughs> if Midori can freely use all the machines in the facility, why did why would he need to make an ID card? Well, I mean, maybe he didn't necessarily need it. He probably went and prepared one so that we could beat his challenges, right? No doubt he could use a face scanner or something without needing the thing. We never saw no devices like that. That's not true. All we saw was the ID oh, card scanner and the fingerprint scanner. That's right. Even if Midori's with the organization, there are machines he couldn't mess with without a registered card. A registered card? Then why were my my fingerprints registered? Oh god. So I knew from the bat, but you're probably figuring it out right now. Wait a second. Are you suspecting me over that? That's wrong. My ain't with the organization. Stop letting your emotions do the talking, you wrestling or old timer. Don't call them us a gorilla names, meow. Everybody calm down. We can't be looking for villains. What do you expect? If they're suspicious, they got a high chance of being human. I wish I didn't have to be casting down my allies either. I love you, Kurumata. Alright, fine. Then I want you to prove it yourself. That I'm your ally. I love you, Mai. I think we're gonna end the episode here. Mai's fingerprint scan. Damn it. I always thought it was strange how I was the only one to go fast the fingerprint skin. This music is different too. Even I don't know why my fingerprints were registered. I swear it's true. And also, my final moments were clearly recorded in her victim video. It's all fake. Her attitude's an act too. Maybe her role was to move the death game forward. It is kind of scary how she puts on an act, but my couldn't be a full-on villain. I have to believe she was a doll, which is why she stabbed Kutaro. The fingerprint thing is a whim of Midori's, no doubt. No point thinking about it. Okay, we're gonna say for now. Oh, nope. 32. Alright, enjoy this music for a little bit, and then I will see you next time. Bye.